verse 45, 46 were the questioning session of the disciple, pupil, student. Right? 45, 46, 47 and 48, four verses. So we did two. Where he expresses, presents his doubts, not in the sense of conclusion made already. It's doubt. If the doubt is clarified, he's open. So that's a very important tra uh, trait we, we should uh, learn from the disciple. We have to learn so much from the disciple first, then the Sadhguru. So 45, we, uh, he said, the soul, the substance you are talking about, the soul cannot be seen by eyes, cannot be perceived by any other senses or sense organs apart from the eyes. It cannot be known, its shape, its color, its form is unknown cannot be known, nay, it's unknown, so I'm doubting the very existence of such a substance. And in 46, if at all you insist on using the word soul, it's a new name or a new word for either the life body, the senses or the breath. So basically the shishya, the disciple, is caught in his absurd logic. What is his absurd logic? Will believe the existence of only what I can see. That is his logic. If a substance exists, it should be seen. If I cannot see, it does not. Or I hesitate to accept the existence of such an invisible object. True? So this is the absurd logic in which the disciple is caught. So what is going to happen to that disciple? What is the Sadhguru going to do? He is going to bring him out from that absurdity of logic and make it clear to him, sense is fine, senses are only the keys. I'm not answering the doubt, I'm just saying what is going to happen to him when the, when the Sadhguru will answer each and every doubt, what is going to happen to him. So he will clearly know that the senses are just keys to the door. Not necessary, it can be used to open Every door. Senses are keys to open a door. I, I saw this with my eyes. And I, saw, I believe it's of a square, rectangular shape, blue color. So it's through the, the key of senses. But it's not enough to open every door. This is going to happen to him. Right? So... The Shisha has just said that he cannot observe any difference between the soul and the body, senses and breath. So he fails to accept, to believe that there is a separate independent substance, conscious substance called a soul, which is different from, separate from body, senses. And, and now he puts forth the third and the last argument in verse 47 and in 48 he is going to conclude his arguments. He is yet in doubt, he is saying. It, it is not a permanent conclusion that he has made, therefore the soul is no, not existing. Therefore it seems the soul does not exist because of my argument. So, concluding an argument is different and conclusion of life is different. He's saying, because of these reasons, I don't feel that the soul exists. But if at all it exists, please clarify my doubts. And you understand? So, let's go with the link. 
So there, uh, there is no distinct sign of the soul. Therefore, the disciple is not willing to accept the existence of the soul separate from the body or you can say body, senses and breath. He puts forth another and the last argument in this context. Bhaiju Atma Ho Yeto Janayate Nahi Ke Janaya Jyote Ho Yeto Ghat Pat Adi Che Vali Jo and if Vali and Jo, if Atma hoi to, if there is a soul, if the soul exists, because this is the third argument. Now, what is it? Janayate nahi came. Why is it not known? Why is it not knowable? Why is it not? Known. Janai jote hoito. If it would be known, it would be known. If it existed, it would be known. How? Ghatpat adi jem. Ghat means pot. Pat means cloth. So ghatpat. I'll tell you why he has used the word ghatpat. But ghat means pot. Pat means cloth. So they exist they can be known. Because they are known, we believe that they exist. Anything, you go this way or this way. Because it's existing, it's being known. Or because we know it, we believe in its existence. So if there is anything like soul, why is it not known? So because it is not known, it might not be existing. Because if it existed, it should be known. You understand the third one? So the first one was, cannot be seen, say, one thing, short one. Second was, another uh, name, another word for body only, short one I am saying. And third, if, it's ex if at all it exists, it should be known how, like pot, cloth, etc. These are just representatives of tangible objects. So any, any Podgalic uh, stuff, you can say, any, these are just two representatives, Ghat and Pat. You know, we'll say, Nemiji, Maulikji, etc. So everyone here. So all the tangible objects. So the funny thing is he wants to believe, to perceive the soul as he perceives tangible objects. And then only, means he wants Atma to be, if at all Atma is there, it has to be Paudgalik, made of matter. So there is proper confusion in his mind. He doesn't mind accepting the existence of the soul, but it has to be tangible. And if it's not tangible, he refuses to accept its very existence. So is it clear? It's something like the first one only, but uh, why is it different? I'll show you. So, short meaning. And if the soul exists, why is it not known? If it exists, it should be seen, rather known, like pot, cloth, etc. So, if the soul exists, if the soul exists as a substance, then it should be felt by the senses as pots and clothes. But it cannot be perceived by any senses, hence it does not exist. So we see here uh, that the disciple goes on the next <coughs> query. Two arguments were already put forth and this is the third if the existence of the soul is to be believed, one must know its address. Address, whatever. 
અમે સ્કૂલમાં ડ્રેસ શીખાયું છે પણ ટુ પ્લેસીસ ઇન ધ વર્લ્ડ એઝ આઈ સાઈડ ઘાટકો પર એન્ડ અમેરિકા તે છે કે કે પહેલાં તોડી તોડીને બોલવાનું પહેલાં શું છે એ ડી ડી એટલે શું એડ અને પછી પાછળ શું લાગ્યું તો શું થયું but i was in a british school so i don't know um address whatever and if it was tangible it would have been known so two things here to believe in some existence of any substance the soul your soul the sadguru soul the concept of soul which the sadguru is neither has location nor visibility two things it is not having location where kya che soul so neither the location nor the why not because address is not known so location is not and visibility because nothing tangible two things so he's saying jenu tamne location khabar na hoy jeni koi visibility na hoy so where is the question of believing in such a substance and talking about its existence i'm not also going to talk about its nature or its capacities because i'm doubting the existence itself enu swarup su che eni shakti su che that so it is totally meaningless till the existence is only not proved so the student concludes from his arguments as it seems soul does not exist because it cannot be known seen perceived like pot and cloth but the arguments no what is what he is missing out is that a lot exists lot of things exists beyond the realm of tangibility see if you talk from the jain metaphysics six substances six substances matter is only one of the substance and we know only matter in school we have only been taught matter with three forms solid liquid gas never produced never can be destroyed this much we have learned at least i have learned in say in third or fourth standard only tame third fourth one okay so we were taught only one there is one substance in the world called matter and it only manifests in three it exhibits itself in three different forms solid liquid gas and i see do we started with solid metals non metals but the liquid and a pachi um, gas and that was the end of our science so it's not science is against spirituality because spirituality does believe in matter so how can you say they are against if someone says it's only matter to a but matter che it's spirituality is not saying matter is unreal it's deceptive it's illusion no matter to mane che but as one of the six substance the f- other five are are visible or not visible not visible tangible or not tangible not tangible so so much is beyond the realm of tangibility out of six five sixth is non tangible and that fellow does not want to believe anything which is not tangible as existence so you are understanding what the guru has to do pehla any a buddhi ma fit karvu padse and then he has to show some signs he cannot say that you just need to believe because the scriptures say so because here for him senses and logic are important not the scriptures and the enlightened ones for the disciple in his arguments at least in his arguments so tamne to kahu na pradeep bhai 
આ ગ્રંથમાં આમ લખ્યું છે તત્વાર્થ સૂત્રોમાં છે તો કે મારી ભૂલ થઈ ગઈ ચાલો જે ભગવાને કીધું તે સાચું બીકોઝ હી હેઝ ફેથ ઇન ધ સ્ક્રિપ્ચર્સ But what about your daughter and your son? Are they going to believe anything just because it is written in some books? So he'll say the book is wrong. But I can't see the soul. So for them logic is more important and the funniest part is their logic. So yesterday also I used the word his purview of senses. Jetli any sense is Nisha and his logic. The problem is we don't understand that we don't understand logic also. <laughs> you have to study the Nyai philosophy to understand how illogical you have been throughout your life. Under the name of logic. I have a logical answer, but that fellow gives an emotional answer. It touches you and you find it logical. because i just like nemi ji so whatever nemi ji says is logical for me this is emotion logic has its own rules you cannot say because nemi ji is nice mauli ji is nice now see beautiful logic right no there is no logic here but we don't even know the rules of reasoning the rules of logic but we want everything logical and empirical which can be perceived by senses so you are understanding the scriptures are out so what was the problem when i was doing my thesis everything i had to had some valid source praman and uh, i had to give so when i had to change it into the granth which you have it in your hands so my guide said ke see here you need to prove everything here you need to give reference of some shastra whatever you say some gnanis of the past have already said and you are just expanding on it because the spiritual aspirants of say india if the scriptures if there is a if the source of what you are saying is there in the past history scriptures you want to believe i say that you have to, you should have orange juice every morning say in the winter season you say barabar chhe sam vat me se bhi chhe pan salo au pehla koi koi dietitian ne kidu chhe and if i just quote ke evu suman agarwal has said present example ke past na and the more i go in past it becomes more and more authentic because there is no proof so if i say mahadishi koi bhi naam aap charak gautam and any any that's that fellow 2000 years ago had said you should have orange juice every morning and it just appeals to me okay, okay. see this fellow says no uh, for me logic is important scriptures is not important so just don't quote three four scriptures okay see this uh, it is written in this scripture that the soul exists and so many scriptures i've said and so the soul exists he doesn't want to know that you are very clear see in none of the arguments he has said that it's not written anywhere or i've not found the uh, proofs of the existence of the soul in any books or any scriptures any granth nothing he is not bothered because anything which is written becomes very very authentic and and reliable any rubbish also if it's printed and if it's in some book which you only have published <laughs> you have to underline it and show it to that person and that person starts believing but if you are saying it it's not so pratyak sadguru is always doubted and parok sadguru is just taken without even thinking you don't even know whether that he is a self realized soul or not but just because it is printed it becomes very very true to your mind this is because of her instincts of blindly following the religion the tradition in which you are born 
So there is a big problem at least in India, which you don't find abroad. Abroad, what is it? Abroad, what is it? Do it, son. You have done 10 generations of this. Do it, son. You don't have to do it, son. But uh, they would say, if it's been followed since many, many generations, and if just because your ancestors were doing it, it does not become true. Logic, ma to besaro, dekhari nahi sako to buddhi ma to besaro. So it's so beautiful. See the way the she is asking, and you are. I know, I know, you are eagerly waiting for what the Sadguru has to say for this. So it happened with all the groups with whom I have, you know, discussed Sri Atma Siddhi Shastra. They would say, okay, we are getting, Papa, we start with the Sadguru fast because we are getting convinced by the Shishya. <laughs> and this is also awesome ability <laughs> of Param Kupavadev. See how impartial he is. When he is only taking the role of a Shishya and he is going to answer as a Sadguru, so he could have made that task a little easier for himself. But he's made it so difficult for him because he's so clear. Not because he's clear, because he has experienced it. So he just needs to express it. So what I have, if I, if you say, did you have, what was there for food today? Breakfast? Ha, ah, upma. So even I had upma, right? So I can feel the upma moving in my stomach and you say, and you say that, I don't believe that there was upma in the morning, but I can feel it moving right now. <laughs> so it's not at all difficult for me. I have to just have that expressing power. So Satpurush is one and Sadguru is another thing. Both have experienced, but one has that ability to express also, <laughs> convince others also. Which two traits of a Sadguru says so? Apurvavani and Paramshrut. This a Satpurush does not have, but a Sadguru has to have. Because till then, how is he going to convince me? How is he going to answer my question, clarify my doubts? How is he going to inspire me to pursue the path of liberation? So he has to have awesome ability. Right? So, this is what we are going to see. So, <clears throat> what is missing out is he wants everything in this cosmos tangible to believe its existence. So, in the, in the philosophical terms, Jain philosophy, he wants every substance podgalik. Pudgal. But that's only one of the five or uh, six substances, right? So the Guru wants to say, Bichara, Bamba. <laughs> There's a lot more to the truth than what meets your eyes and what falls on your ears. There's much more. Truth is much more bigger than what just meets your eyes or falls onto your ears. Kanti samblai, neakti dekhai, enakarta satya. Paramarth, supreme truth, is much more. So he's not denying this. It's not this Emnatiketa. Some philosophy says that this is Mithya. But the Guru is not calling it Mithya. To consider this is the only reality is Mithya. But matter is real. It believes in six substances. Out of which one is matter, second is time. So he believes in space, time, everything. So what we, the words we use in physics comes in metaphysics also. The forces, dharmastikai, not dharmastikai, everything. We learnt as a force, you know, gravitational force, etc. But here it is said in Jain philosophy, there are substances, dharmastikai, a dharmastikai, moving. Etc. We don't need it right now. We are just debating between Pudgal and Chaitanya uh, Atma. So, 
वॉट इज द गुरु ओके थोड़ा थोड़ा हूँ पंक्चर पाड़ माँडू बिकॉज यू पीपल आर गेटिंग टू ईगर एंड टू कन्विंस्ड बाय द शिष्यज आर्ग्युमेंट्स तो थोड़ा पंक्चर मार पड़व पड़ से हमने एंड देन आई टर्न मै मै अटेन्शन टूवर्ड्स एक्चुअल गाथा द वर्स सो दैट वॉज दैट ओल्ड मास्टर सीटिंग अंडर अ ट्री इम्पॉर्टिंग नॉलेज आउट ऑफ कंपैशन चार्जिंग नथिंग knowledge anybody comes anybody passing the from there comes sits at his lotus feet pleads gets knowledge thanks goes and there was one young scholar who had just come out of the portals of the educational institutions degree dhari and um, and he finds this master foolish why is he giving such wonderful wisdom free of charge but the cheez foc male ne it loses its value also so you might get sponsors and donors but sometimes giving free lowers its importance also and its value so that's what exactly that new uh, that um, new age tamara uh, age no scholar fell he should charge so he started his own dhanda next to the tree and he used to charge you want this knowledge that this is a charge and people used to come pay the fees learn from him and that was it so when it was done under the name of spirituality so the old master did not like it said i need to teach this fellow a lesson and because he was from that new age mindset so he would say everything is tangible only what is tangible has to be believed you don't need to believe anything which is not uh, visible or not tangible and that is the way he used to preach so once the master goes to him and says even i want to learn something from you અને બહુ તો લાગેલું જ હતું ફીઝનું ને બધું તો સો ઇટ વોઝ વેરી ક્લિયર સર સો યુ ટુક આઉટ ઇઝ પેપર્સ એન્ડ સ્ટાર્ટિંગ ઇમ્પોર્ટિંગ યર આર ધ પેપર્સ યુ પે યોર ફીઝ એન્ડ ટેક ધ પેપર્સ સો કે આઈ કાન્ટ રીડ સો વેલ બિકોઝ આઈ એમ ઓલ્ડ સો વાય ડોન્ટ યુ રીડ ઇટ આઉટ ટુ મી સો દેટ ફેલો રેડ આઉટ ધ હોલ થિંગ આફ્ટર ઇટ વોઝ ઓવર હી સેઝ થેન્ક યુ એન્ડ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ I was thinking, what about my fees? So, the fees for what? So, the fees for the knowledge I gave you. So, show me. <laughs> you can't see the soul, right? So, show me the knowledge. Or, if I can't see, at least I should have. I should feel it. Touch, touch, touch. Touch in the knowledge. Uh, what am i giving you right now knowledge right and you are taking knowledge from me can you see knowledge i am not talking of words words is one thing knowledge is another thing knowledge can be without words and words can be without any knowledge you know what you speak outside the swadhyay hall <laughs> there are words but no knowledge in it and sometimes i can just be in silence and i can impart knowledge so knowledge and words are two different things so okay, what you read out is paper what you spoke may be words but where did you give me knowledge and if you have not given me anything why should i pay so you are talking of tangibility and all if i throw this out of anger if i throw this clock at you in anger and you say baba what i saw was not good so i said what did you see did you see my anger you saw my behavior you saw my body move you saw my eyes you saw my you heard my words but where did you see anger therefore anger is not existing will you believe it there is nothing like anger because who has seen anger i have done one year course on this that is called behaviorism 
what you are seeing is someone's behavior, not that emotion. Don't mix it up. So you saw my behavior, you saw my face, you heard my words. I'm saying, did you see anger? This example was given by Dr. Radha Krishna, President of India. Which year, Maudi? President. After Dr. Rajendra Prasad, maybe, right? 58, huh? 58 to 65 or something. Huh? So he was president of uh, India and the dean or chancellor of Oxford University, or a professor, professor at the Oxford, first professor, Indian professor. And I had studied uh, Dr. Radha Krishna for one year. First year of my MA, I had Dr. Radha Krishna. Wonderful philosophy, wonderfully expressed from Chennai. So he's saying, have you seen a, any intelligent idiot here? Sorry, any intelligent person here? Come on, if you, in your whole life, if once also you have felt you are intelligent, you have to put your hands up. <laughs> Name ji, show me your intelligence. Or I won't believe that there is anything like intelligence. Show me your intelligence. So, so much is not tangible, I'm saying. It's beyond the realm of tangibility. So, I'm just puncturing your hushyari yeah, here. That everything what exists has to be tangible. So many things you believe the existence of, but is not tangible. Only when it comes to the soul, I don't know what happens to you. Knowledge is not tangible, anger is not tangible, intelligence is not tangible. Correct? So in this verse he's saying, Wali, Wali Jo, means now I'm putting forth the third argument. And what is that? So further elaborating his doubt, by putting forth one one arguments, he's elaborating his doubt. He wants the Guru to be clear what is going within him. I don't believe in the existence of soul and that's enough. So, and the Guru is liking all his thinking, though everything is in the wrong direction, but he's thinking. So a person who is thinking, it's easy to show him the right direction. Because his mind is already walking. Mind walking is called thinking. So mind is at least... He is not dumb. Even I like, I don't like dumb people. I like crooks. <laughs> I love egoistic people. But I don't like dumb people. Potani theory was totally wrong. Totally wrong. That I can stand. But if you say, Aane kidune itle, that I can't stand. Dumb people are very difficult to crack. Egoistic to mana khujali chare khujali. So already Bedi was pella, just before two days, or as uh, the Indians say, two days before. <laughs> Bedi was pella, two days before. This is the way we translate. Someone told me, Saro flat. The person meant flat. Italy Saras loan chen bajum. Loan. Loan. Loan nahi. Bank ni loan nothing. But we understand. We don't laugh like you people. And uh, we understand what the person wants to convey. So where was I? So two days before, ma jamna pagma itli khajave taliya par, and body language, antargat science, body language nuche science che ma ke tamar travelling start thawa ni hoy tarre pagma khajave, paisa thawa na hoy tarre hath ma khajave, ani jhapat marwa na hoy koi ne tarre mane khajave. 
So the guru is enjoying the whole thing. He's not at all nervous. The guru is not nervous because you felt the arguments are wonderful, right? So the guru has to be nervous, right? He's not at all nervous. I want to start answering. So I said, I'll finish it today. So you can start answering, Bhagwan. So, <laughs> so for the ignorant, existence is normally associated with tangibility. What is tangibility? What can be perceived by senses? Senses, not only eyes, but any senses, feel, smell, anything. So that is called tangible. You know, because Rushab goes on asking me, what is cogent, what is this, what is that? So, satsang ma jenu meaning kai So, yeah, we know an object by its virtue of tangibility. Because it is tangible, e gun e na So we know the object. This is our association. It's always been like that, so we feel this is the only way to perceive a thing, a substance. And in spiritual discussions, spiritual discussions or spiritual debates, charcha ke vad, charcha mate, I use the word discussion, vad mate, you know, debates, ek team, ya bese ek team, apne Canada ma kari ti, padi I remember in 2003, a whole weekend we had a debate on a Bay India, Canada, I think eight US now. If the Char Bhega Kairata Artima ne Artima and it was a real strong and a mopala roid by to Jara Vata Gala. It la make the debate che a fight nati debate che debate. please, please be the decor of the so um, yeah, we could have a forum to but Because I think it was the first time we were having so many things in 2003. We had to eat a lot <laughs> First 14 days, to kai jat jat nu tamhe kalpana na kariyo. Abhi we had a Sufi dance and je bindas Sanatan mandir ma Sufi dance hai. So I don't know. Te vakte su ghat sata mara ma su kare jati atana nati. Atana sidu sidu bas mangla charan karo pravacha karo ane baad. Te vakte to jat jat nu karta tha and maybe it was just to crack. Him, he was a staunch uh, Jain. And Pradeepa, he was a ekdam, strong, staunch Jain. I made him non Jain. <laughs> true Jain, sorry, true Jain. <laughs> a spiritual person. But Tamakyari bi chu chanati kari, anything, because see, they have just heard. Panditji's and all, you know, with proper taking a shastra and explaining and, and suddenly a debate. And it was always yes, yes. But do aji crack karo, aji crack karo. First trip ma khalas kari na khoye ne. And uh, but I got to know from others that you don't like changes, you know. You like to think before um, deciding a program and then you just like executing. And for that purpose, everywhere abroad, People are like this, you know. They want to advance, uh, advance my the last birth, ma, they want to plan this satsang. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I don't calendar. And I came to know from your wife, na, brothers, Pellati vicharva joy and vichar in a planning karva joy in his younger days, of course. Now, so it cannot do anything. But, so, uh, yeah, now Mukesh and all does everything. Uh, can't say any degree, can't say. Yeah, Mukesh and all does. Just see his face. He feels Mukesh is yet in his pam <laughs> nappies. He nano in his samaj pade. Madhu are in a. He's a grandfather now, right? Of two, 
પણ એના માટે તો નાનો જ રહે ને હજી એ ચડ્ડીમાં જ ફરે છે મેં કીધું હવે સોપો બીજા ને તમે આત્મામાં જાઓ મને તો આ લોકો લેવા લાગ્યા તો આઈ ફોગોટ ઇન ધ એ ઓફ એડમિનિસ્ટ્રેશન નાવ સો સો હી ડીન લાઈક ચેન્જીસ સો આઈ સેડ નાવ આઈ હેવ નોટ કમ યુ ફોર લેક્ચર્સ એન્ડ ઓલ આઈ એમ નોટ અ પ્રોફેસર સો આઈ એમ નીડ ટુ ચેન્જ હિમ ફોર નો રીઝન આઈ ટુ ચેન્જ એવરી ડે ફોર નો રીઝન બોટ ફોર કાંઈ બી હોય તો ચેન્જ કરો પેલા ત્રણ ચાર વખત ઓ માય ગોડ એમ કરતા રાઈટ હિસ ટિપિકલ વે ઓફ સિંગ ઓ માય ગોડ એન્ડ ધન યુ વોઝ ઇન સચ અ મોડ ઓફ એક્સેપ્શન એક્સેપ્ટન્સ કે પછી બે ચાર ટ્રીપ પછી ઇફ આઈ આજે કોઈ ચેન્જ નથી એને મજા નહોતી આવતી ધેન ઇઝ સ્ટાર્ટ ગેટિંગ ઓલ્ડ because there were no changes only in the program we decide and then we execute so but he have no maja not here so this is the fun of a sadguru in life okay so in spiritual discussions and debates these words are used cut but because they they are the represent they represent all the tangible objects in the world so when you want to talk of tangible objects there are thousands right so which do you pick so in olden times in spiritual discussions and debates they had kept a term ghat pat means ghat means spot pat means cloth so whenever you want to talk of any tangible objects you will use the term ghat pat so i'm saying what beautiful knowledge of nyay you can say param kupal dev had even in chapadno patra he uses the word ghatpat even shri atma siddhi shastra so he was such a knowledgeable person being in terms of experience in terms of scriptures very very well versed well read but main self experience but even scriptures and even the disciples mental frame all three together wonderful isn't it he knows his student well he knows his master well he knows himself well now what more do you mean what more can happen and if he yet says he is not omniscient i don't know what will add to his enlightenment what is to, to be needed to add to consider him an omniscient being he knows himself well atmagnani knows atma he knows the master so the scriptures and he knows the student so well kevite in a clean bowl ka and he can spin his balls i don't know much of cricket i don't know par algo kya kya bolta hoy ki aa spinner che and aa saru spin kare so he exactly knows how to pin so so many answers are actually questions in the answering section so many answers are just questions shanka no karnar te acharya e ama so many are questions so representation of the whole tangible world is done by two words ghat so how many came to know right now that ghat pat means ghat means pot and pat means cloth oh now i don't think you'll ever forget it ha huh? ha huh? so when you you can use it in your daily this thing also if some of somebody is not keeping things clean so okay, please keep the ghat pat properly <laughs> and i'll keep my temper properly which is non tangible and you keep the tangible things proper right now because we will forget that even that has to be managed well we only feel the room has to be clean we don't feel our antakaran also has to be clean so we fight for the room not being kept nicely but that keeps our mind very dirty makes it dirty okay so <clears throat> very very simple argument if the object exists in the world 
it should be certainly known. It should be known. It should be knowable at least, no? If it's existing, why is it not knowable? So if it exists, it should be knowable. And if it's knowable, it should be known. If it is known, it does exist. And if this, by any, any, any senses, not necessarily the eyes, but any. If it exists, it should be known. If the soul exists, it should be known, simple. And because it is not known, I hesitate to believe in its existence. See, I'm using good words, hesitating yet. Otherwise, why is he asking? He is not arguing, he's asking, and you will see how he pleads in the next stanza. Oh, true teacher, please show me some Javo Sadupai. So he's requesting, praying, pleading. That shows he's hesitating because of of accepting the existence of the soul because of certain doubts. It's not that he just wants to say, you are wrong, O Master, you are wrong in believing the existence of song. That's not his purpose. Very clear? So, just as the pot, cloth, etc. is known, because it exists, if the Atma, if the soul exists, it should be known. Simple. So in the ancient scriptures, the Nyaya Sutras, this term is used, cut, but. From where did Param Kuparu Dev get this word, cut, but? Why cut, but? Where do you see a pot? Do you see a pot in your room? You see no more. So why this cut, but term? So this term has been used since since Bhagwan Mahavi's time, we had it in Gandharvad also, this term Ghatpat. Why? Because I have studied the Nayai Sutras for one and a half year. One year in the university, six months from a master from Lahore, settled in India, Pratna Samaj. And he was blind. But he started teaching me Nyai Sutras. He would make me read, because I was doing Sanskrit also that time, so I could read the Sanskrit uh, sloks. I would read the slok and then he would expand on it. So every afternoon from 3.30 to 5, I used to go to him, because he was blind, he could not come. I would go to him. Ena ghare jau, vandan karu, and then I ask for, you know, I plead for knowledge, and then he begins. I was his favorite student, <laughs> or one of the favorite, maybe. So, and he had come to India during the partition, Lahore Tiyavata. So, six months I studied there, and for whatever reason I had to discontinue. And I said, good, now I got freedom from this Nyai thing. I was a person of heart, never wanted logic for everything. I was not a student of science also. Kejima Badu, empirical was and experiments were so important. Art student, painting, karya karano karya. That was my belief <laughs> regarding arts faculty. Yeah, that was my belief that time. Ke arts means you know you should be a good painter, then you can take uh, arts. And uh, if you want to, a uh, business much over to commerce, and a doctor, doctor, banwanu hoi to, you should take science. That was my buddhi that time. So, I was good at art painting. So I said, let's take arts. <laughs> then I never painted for uh, ever. <laughs> so that was the time. And in the university, I had Nyai again. I thought after giving up, I said, fine, I'm now, till moksha, I'll be free of this logic and nyaya. I was so happy. I was experiencing freedom. And my Bhagawan didn't like that. So it was a compulsory subject in my masters. We have an option, in the second year we have an option from 28 topics. 28 topics, Mati, only 4 topics. But first year it is compulsory, 4 topics. Him a compulsory, one nyaya. Oh God, again one year of Nyai, and, uh, and I did it, 
and I topped in it also. <laughs> I don't know how. So, Nyai Sutras composed, the author is Maharishi Gautam. Just to give you a little feel of why this gut put over here. So, Maharishi Gautam and is supposed to be the contemporary of Bhagwan Mahavir and Buddha. So, say from, it's not very clearly known, but 6th century BC to 2nd century BC, Vache, anywhere, uh, is supposed to have uh, composed these sutras, the Nyai sutras. And it's called Nyai. So, Nyai actually means, if you have been watching Bollywood, so what does Mujhe Nyai chahiye? Justice, yeah, justice. So, but Nyai does not mean justice. Nyai means right judgment, right conclusion, right judgment. So the Nyai Sutra is all about the rules of logic and reasoning to convince yourself or to convince others, you have to follow a particular method of reasoning. Tarka, logic. So my first Shastra was Tarka Sangra. That itself is so difficult. Nanu Sutra Pasina Pasina And my, my uh, teacher, this Lahore Walaji teacher, Atta, and he goes, till you are doing Nyai with me, every evening you will, you, means sunset pehla apne khaye at the evening. And he knew that, so pancho wage mane chodi de. And neto to chodte nahi. Because he was a very passionate teacher like me. So, chodte <laughs> nahi. But uh, he knew that I wouldn't eat after sunset. Okay, jaldi jaldi jao. But my mommy ne bola ne ke dar ro char mahina sudhi ghi golni bhakri khawda hua ni hai. Ek to bhakri is abaksha, right? <laughs> bhakri we can't eat. The day we have bhakri in a menu, eh, hey, tiffin, apne mukyet nahi hai. Unless ke bau pizza khawan u manthi hoi to bhakri upar kai na ke na khai lehi hai. So bhakri I never had till then. And he be utterly jadi puran poli samjilo ne puran poli. I'm a way to make a yen, puran poli. A ghi gol and a jaipal ghi at le kana pari pari na ghi na ketlu. A keke etli buddhi emni dor kala gaya se etlu blood circulation matter and whatever he had, whatever reasons he had. So I actually, I from you know, when I stopped this nyai from him. I said, wow, freedom from Nyai and freedom from Bhakri. <laughs> but it never happened. <laughs> Again, it came back. Because my Bhagwan would like me being free, not out of aversion. And I could see that there was a little you know, dislike for studying logic and all. So that dislike is the opposite of like. It's not absence of like. It's opposite of like. So he wouldn't, whatever noodles I can't bear. So Singapore wala ne moklea. And noodles for noodles kawda hai raket. Noodles I never like. So noodles I like now. Ketchup I never used to have. Never had till 18 years, 21 years of my life. So I khali ketchup apu omna to hum khai leo. So, he doesn't like any, any granthi in me, he wouldn't <laughs> tolerate. He wants me to celebrate life and not tolerate any stuff. So many things we can tolerate, okay? You know, group ma betha hoi to ek war apne kari we can tolerate so many things. He says, no, celebrate life. Accept it wholeheartedly not to show others or show yourself or anything. So why am I saying all this? I don't know. Um, so, um, what did I say? <laughs> so that is Nyai Sutras, the rules of logic and reasoning. And only if you follow these rules, you are logical. Otherwise, in the name of logic, you are illogical. 
and then you will jump to wrong conclusions and you will be responsible for that and you can use this it is called heto abhas in the nyai system to convince others but you should at least know that you are misleading them socrates is man aristotle is man so therefore socrates is equal to aristotle right kem apra algebra ma to a is equal to b b is equal to c therefore so that's what i said so this is wrong no but it seems so logical so there's perfect rules of logic and reasoning and so i had to study that in my university days so gautam rushi's ancient nyay system ancient system of logic five step logic che eight step logic che three step logic che i won't go into detail i just want to you to know why this ghatpat over here then i had to study navya nyay neo logical system neo logic navya new new nyay 13th century ma gangesh he was from mithila so i had to do many many sutras composed by him and then the modern logic burton russell russellian logic so when i was taught that in the university i had so many of our mumukshus also join me jayesh kaka was there jayesh kaka is here so you had come you know you know his intention was he had a holiday ek divas than a holiday hati ka ek tara factory ma what was that day some odd day hato wednesday thursday ke thursday yeah because sunday satsang you never used to come because you had to go to the factory but wednesday ke thursday and thursday i say i think most probably because i had lectures on thursday so he said papa um, that time they used to call me saheb of course he said saheb i want to see you study <laughs> now you all did, won't get that privilege okay you just see me making you study <laughs> but these old people had the privilege to see me studying also and studying for my exam also and going for my going to the examination center and manoj mane mukho aave to ek vakat ek exam siddham mati to he dropped me kya aaj you know ek ek paper mate ek ek vyakti nakki thai ke nyay paper mate manoj mane mukho aavse pehla paper mate pappa ke ke first paper nu to hu j mukho aavis and my father is always late and that creates a panic in me એવું કંઈ છે ને આઈ આઈ એમ ગોઈંગ ટુ ફિનિશ ધ પેપર મચ બિફોર ટાઈમ આઈ નો એવરીથિંગ બટ ઇઝ ઓલવેઝ લેટ ઇઝ અ ફેટ લેઝી પર્સન સો એન યુ વુડન માઇન્ડ ઇફ આઈ કોલ ઇન ફેટ સો વન્સ જયેશ કે કે બાપા આઈ વોન્ટ ટુ સી હાઉ યુ સ્ટડી ઇન ધ ક્લાસરૂમ સો આઈ સેટ ચાલો આઈ લાસ્ટ પ્રોફેસર આંતરકાર ઇફ યુ અલાઉઝ તો એ પાંચ ચાર પાંચ જણા આવ્યા હતા બીજા કોણ હતા ના દેર ફોર પીપલ ફોર ફાઈવ પીપલ મીતા બી હશે લગભગ મીતાજી બી હશે બીના બી હતી સમ ફોર ફાઈવ પીપલ હેડ કમ એન્ડ દે જસ્ટ દે દે વર નોટ ઇન્ટરેસ્ટેડ મેં કીધું બટન રસલનો લોજિક છે આજે લેક્ચર તો કે હું બટન રસલ મેં તો રસેલ ચોક છે ને રસેલ સ્ક્વેર છે ને ત્યાં લંડનમાં છે ને છે કે નથી સ્ટેશન છે ને જયા આવજે એક વખત સો એ વોઝ જબરી પર્સનાલિટી હતી ભલે નાસ્તિક હતો પણ જબરી પર્સનાલિટી હતી માય ગુરુ હેઝ ટોટ મી ટુ યુ નો અપ્રિશિએટ નાસ્તિક પીપલ ઓલ્સો સો વન્સ હી કેમ સો હી આઈ આસ માય પ્રોફેસર તો કે ઓફકોર્સ ઇફ ઇઝ ઇન્ટરેસ્ટેડ ઇન લોજિક યુ કેન શ્યોરલી કમ બટ આઈ એમ નોટ સેડ એનીથિંગ વોટ ઇઝ ઇ ઇન્ટરેસ્ટેડ ઇન સો આઈ એમ નોટ લાઈંગ and uh, they saw me but he came on blackboard par bhi aave and he said anybody can solve this problem and aapre bhi thoda ka hua love jais ka kagal thoda show kariye aapne so i came on the blackboard and i was answering so once you all had come fine so what i was saying is there are different different forms of logic but the best and the oldest is that of gautam and he started this system using the word ghatpat for 
the tangible objects in the world. In representation, karvamate, you can't write 50 names. You know, gadyal, te hase bhi nahi te vakti gadyal. So, gadpat means everything. And now I want to tell you why, out of all these tangible things, why ghat and pat only? You want to hear? So, number one, I asked my professor, why gadpat? Actually, till I would pull it so far that I would pull it so far that I would pull it so far that I would pull so far that I would pull it so far that I so far that I so so I asked, why Ghatpat only? Why not something else and Ghatpat? So you know, first answer he gave, he gave was, which I don't think is correct, but he wanted to shut me. So he said, because they are rhyming. <laughs> Ghatpat. <laughs> rhyming, so it's easy to remember also. No? Maybe, maybe, because they were the paper as so everything had to be memorized. I'm saying 2005 years ago, maybe. So, and, and if he was a contemporary of Bhagawan Mahavir Buddha, that was what was taught to us. Second was, and that seems a little acceptable, that te vakte Maharshi Gautam lived in a village. So the most prominent objects which would hit his eyes means what should your room have? One pot. Pani mate and kapada. And why exactly put? Because cloth would be used to filter water to be put in the pot. Grandmothers, you have seen, no? Galnu bande, atwatwam pot, galnu, you know, all, even my grandmother. And he only remembers, Nemiji only remembers one thing of his grandmother. Ke every time she would have a pot in her room because koi na koi tapasya chalti hoi. So they have a pot. But he a pani thandu kara mate upar cloth hoi. El pani thandu re atwa, you know, upar ajo bajo ekdom cloth rakhi hoi to garmina divasoma pot thandu re. So see what would hit the eyes every time. So the pot in the room, khatlo bhi na hoi. There is no bed also, maybe. But pot was must because water you need. And to keep the water cool, that cloth was needed. So that would be in your room and that would go on hitting your eyes, making you remember that you have everything, tangible objects, whatever you need, you, this room is sufficient for it. So this seems little acceptable. So this was used, ghat and pat. Pat means cloth, used to filter water or tie, it, tie keep it around the pot to keep the pot cool and the water cool and all. So this must be the reason. So the disciples' main thing was, I don't want to believe in the existence of... I can, but I don't want to believe in the existence of soul. Just because the scriptures say so, I want to know it myself. The only problem is that he thinks it should be tangible and should be perceived by the senses. Because I cannot perceive it, it does not exist. Sing. बड़ी जो आत्मा हो ये तो जनाई ते नहीं के जनाई जो ते हो ये तो घट पट आ दीजें